Hey guys, how are ya? How you guys doing? I hope everything is happening good for you. <laughs> hey, man, it's been a crazy, crazy last few weeks or couple of weeks of uh, of uh, Black History Month, man. <laughs> so I just want to rant on something, man. We have uh, Grant Cardone, all right? Or Grant Cardon, depending on <laughs> where you live and where you're from, you know? Grant Cardone, you know? He says he uses black people to make money, you know? He use them and some big corporations come in and he makes a lot of money. Last time I checked, I think it was worth a, a billion dollars, right? Now, that's got a lot of black people angry and I don't understand why they're angry, you know? Because everything he said is quite obvious. It is sad, but it's not something to be upset about. It's one of those things where you got to realize that we got to do something. You know, it's not just Grant Cardone. Remember Clive Davis made a lot of money from Whitney Houston? When she died, he didn't give a crap. <laughs> Remember that? I had, uh, what's the guy? What's the guy's name? Um, one of those, not, not NSYNC, one of those boy band from back in the 90s. Ah, uh, What's his name? He's married to some lady that used to be on TV. Um, uh, hopefully I remember his name. He said the same thing. You know, remember, remember they used to have boys to men? And boys to men was so good. They had white women, white, young white girls putting their posters in their room. You know, and I'm pretty sure white men or their white fathers didn't like that. So you know what they did? They pushed, they pushed the, la the labels to find a way they could bring up white boy bands and and tell these kids to send them into the hood to go and look at how black guy, black kids are dressing how they're walking what's cool what's not cool how to use the language and all that you know and they did which pushed off a lot of um uh, black boy bands you know they did that used what you guys were doing and made money off you remember slavery in america <laughs> Land in America was worthless until they were slaves. That's when he started making money. So, Grant Cardone is just doing, it's a playbook thing. He's just following what has happened before. You know? There's, the only sad thing I gotta say is black people uh, like to diss each other. There's a lot of black black people who are doing exactly what Grant Cardone is, but they're not using their people. They're trying to uplift their people. <laughs> and I've seen a guy here uh, on YouTube, but I think he's got pocket watching or something like that. This guy has made, there's groups like EYL, Annual Leisure, who have programs there that can help you about uh, not just mortgages, but about business as well and about investing. They have a guy called uh, the Master Investor, who's Ian Dunlap. And, and, and they'll tell you for free, they'll give you information. But then they say, if you want to be a trader, you know, come and work with us. We'll show you how to do it, but you have to pay. And the first thing black people say, oh, they're scams. They're scams. It's a scam. It's a scam. But I've never heard anyone say Grant Cardone is a scam. When you got 50% of his audience is black. And he does it. They manipulate the system. He goes there and throws the money, does all the black stuff, shows his bling bling, throws his money around, make it rain. And black people fall for that. And they go and pay money. And this guy takes his money and makes himself worthy. And no black person on YouTube has ever said he's a scam. But when it comes to black people, they are scams. There's another guy, my man, the Wall Street Trapper. I like this guy so much. He's made me realize... He's made me actually, he's made me some money. Note that I, I, I joined his, his program just from listening to him. Then I'll go and do my own research, which is what all of you should be doing. You know, you don't have to invest when it comes to investing. You don't have to invest in companies. The easiest way to invest, which actually makes money, just invest in indexes or ETFs, whichever one you want to pick. You know, invest in the whole bloody S&P 500. Just put money in there over time because most of you guys want a quick flip it doesn't work like that that's when you get scammed 
when you want to do a quick flip and these guys are not trying to teach you a quick flip some of them are just genuine trying to uplift their people but all i hear is you're a scam you're a scam but then grant cardone all of you guys who are pointing at black people to be scams when you see grant cardone you get on your knees and suck his you god you know you know what it's rubbish guys it has to stop it has to stop you know, there's nothing Grant Cardone is saying that should upset you. You should actually be upset at yourself. That you hate, you hate yourself so much, you get upset at what he says. Instead of stopping it from happening. Instead of just getting upset. Oh, oh. And here's the thing. These guys say that stuff. Because right now on social media, the highest selling um, thing is making black, people, making black people angry. If you make black people angry... It's making you a lot of money. Your video will go viral. It just says something against black people. <laughs> and the thing is, black people are not realizing this. Because even that is making money for somebody. You know, there's so many people. I even heard uh, on uh, how... Because um, they know. Because you guys are trying to, to achieve something. Right? I even heard someone. I think it was Josh. If you follow the finance world, you know Josh. Um, what's his last name? He's appeared on uh, EYL. And Josh taught Ian Dunlap to say, you know, be careful from collaborating with these guys. They are not there to help you. They have nothing for black people. They're just there to steal your viewers. And who are the viewers? The black people. Because they know they'll, they'll be the more, they'll be one of, um, uh, or they'll be the people that are more like, these guys have done, have done, um, do their research. How did Grant Cardone know that 50% of his audience is black and between the ages of 20 and 40. How did he know that? You know, so they collect data. You know, they know what they need to do to get you guys going. You know, this is why he starts doing all the uh, uh, making it rain and all that stuff. And you guys fall for it. You know, it's sad to see, but this thing is happening. How do we stop it? We start owning our own shit. That's how we stop it. Own your shit. You know, I'm going to talk about Elon Musk in my next video too. Because we got to be aware of these people. You know. And we got to find a way to trust people. Look at our, 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 our friends in the Jewish community have done it. You know. They're, and I'm not saying they're right. But you can see how they've organized together. Most of these guys who are now billionaires. Who are uh, 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 fund managers. You know. They started from nothing. There are some kids who didn't even go to school. But they found something they loved. And that's looking after making money by investing money, which actually makes real money. You can see because they've become billionaires. If you look at Vista, the, the, the richest black man in America, it's the same thing. It's a fund, but it's a business at the same time. This, this is how you make money. But the way you do that, you have to come together as a community. You, know, you can even buy banks. You can even own like, you know, 20% of Apple. You can own different companies by coming together and putting that money together so when you buy something you know it's together but when people say these things when black people come and try to, to uplift you oh it's a scam i'm not saying there are no scams but most of the stuff start by listening to what someone is saying take what they tell you and go and do your own research and today information is everywhere you don't have to even do much just google everything and information will come up I challenge you to look at, uh, I think it's called Data Roma. You know, put up all the rich billionaires that you know. You know, put, search their name and they will tell you what they've invested in. You know, you can say 10 people, 10 rich people that you know, billionaires, look what they've invested in. And then you can maybe take the top three that appear in all of them and invest in those companies. And I tell you what, you're not going to be wrong. It's simple as that. Then you go and do your own research, obviously. See if these companies, you don't want to do, you don't want to invest in companies that kill black people, like prisons and stuff, you know. So, we need to come together and be aware of what is happening. How our friend, how we are the reason why most people are rich. Look at Africa. Africa is poor, but every white person who lives, who lives in Africa is rich. And that's not the fault of those people. But the thing is, we get ripped off in Africa. You know, the French take everything for free. So they can provide healthcare in France. The last time France had a surplus budget was 1903. They collected 200 billion dollars from Haiti. <laughs> you see, that's why Haiti is poor. All the money was going to France. 
in Africa, they are collecting $500 billion. They collected that $200 billion over, I think it was over like 200 years or something. You know, I think French, the Haiti finished paying off that bill like last century or something like that. You know, mid last century or something. From bloody, I think from bloody 1700 or something like that. They've just been, they were just paying off that bill. And now they're a poor country. France didn't say, you know what, you are poor, don't pay the money. You got to England. <laughs> Here's the funny thing, guys. Here's the funny thing. Uh, when, when, uh, when, uh, when slavery ended, England decided to pay uh, the slave owners money, reparations. But they never paid the slaves, right? But this is what they did. There's a thing called the Windrush. This is why England packed up all these black people in the Caribbean, put them on this ship sent them to the UK to work in the factories, cleaning up streets, doing all those shitty jobs. Because I tell you what, if you were educated and tried to find a job, you couldn't find it. Only those crappy jobs, be nurses and all the other stuff, all the other more like lower income, lower middle income kind of uh, 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 workers. And guess what? And then England taxed these people and used the tax of these black people from the Caribbean to pay the slave owners their reparations. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's sad. But this is what happens all the time. And we do nothing about it. We don't realize. We get, we get abused and used even today. People say slavery ended. Nah, not for black people. We're still paying for these guys. You know, we just don't realize it. You know, I'm up here in the hills, man. It's nice and sunny. This is called Kings Park uh, in Western Australia. What you see behind me, it's not, a, it's not grave sites, guys. It's memorial for people that died in a world war and all that stuff. So I'm not up in the graves and say, you know, because <laughs> we Africans will see this as, oh, witchcraft. <laughs> it's up in the graves. Nah, it's a park. It's a park. Uh, you can see around. Um, if you look around behind me, it's just a park. Uh, and there's some beautiful places, but I like to come up here because it's just nice and quiet. Um, so, yeah. So, let's just be real, guys. Don't, don't get mad at Grand Cardon or Grand Cardon. Let's get mad at ourselves. And we need to do something and come together. We have the money. Black people have the money. What am I raise something like $50,000 on YouTube to support people? He's getting paid a lot of money on YouTube. You know, um, in America, they have a $2.6 trillion economy. The only problem is that we don't put our money together. Remember, Marcus Gavi was the first crowdfunder and he was successful. This is uh, almost like 100 years ago now uh, when black people didn't even have the money. But those people managed to put them together and they put their money together. And that's how you create companies like Berkshire Hathaway. You know, it's people, the Jews, obviously, most of them put their money together. You find someone who's good at something and help them. But what we need to do as well is be honest to ourselves and to our people. And let's avoid these quick money making schemes. Let's avoid that because that's what keeps us poor. Remember that quick money schemes is equal to poverty. Money takes a time to build up. You know, if you are young, start young. I will encourage you right now. If you are in America, S and P five hundred. If you are in um, if you are in Australia, VAS, which is a Vanguard uh, Australian top three hundred uh, companies. You know, just keep putting your money there. You might. You know, if you're 20, by the time you're 30, if you're putting 10K every year, I tell you what, by the time you're 30, you might have 250K, just money chilling there. You know, easy. You know, it takes time. Don't rush it. And let us not just, because someone is black and is trying to teach us something, we rush to say it's a scam. But all the, but the real scammers are actually white guys. And we don't do nothing or say nothing about it. Because, I don't know, maybe we're scared of them or something. Let's stop that, guys, and focus on ourselves. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.